Greetings! Hi! So today I want to talk a little bit about spirituality. Welcome to my channel. Uh, basically the reason why I want to get into spirituality is because it's a huge part of who I am and uh, I have always been super interested in everything that is paranormal, spiritual, healing. So I would like to talk about my most recent experience. My friend Pauline came down from Wisconsin. I've known her for four years and she came down to Arizona for the first time. So she came and spent about eight days with me and during her eight day trip we experienced a lot of intuitive, exciting, amazing experiences that opened so many doors for both of us. So one of the experiences that we had was in Sedona. So I'm just going to jump right into it and share it and then I'll show you what I got. So basically we went to Sedona for a day trip and we stopped at a couple different shops. One of my favorites is the Sedona Vortex Crystal Store. So that one's really awesome. They've got amazing energy. They have a great merchandise there. So I love spending some money over there with them. Uh, I always come home with really great stuff. So this time we went to the Sedona Vortex uh, Crystal Store, which I had bought her a few things from. So it was nice that she was able to see where some of her things have come from and um, we ended up buying a couple more things while we were there as well. <laughs> Basically, we signed up to get a tarot reading. So we were gonna be back to back. So we had spent about an hour in this shop uh, in Sedona and Basically, she went in, we had already made our purchases and she went in to go get her tarot reading and I decided that I was going to sit down and relax and wait for her to be done so that I could go into my session with the same lady. So while I was waiting for her session, I uh, was just relaxing near this computer system and um, in the shop and I'd already made all my purchases so I was kind of going through everything that I got and I like look up to the left and I see all these pendulums but one of them just stuck out. And I mean, it stuck out like a sore thumb for me for some reason. And I just went up to it reactively. Wasn't even thinking at this point. I just went up to it, grabbed it. And I started to like have an experience with it. I like ended up talking to it and I was asking it questions and I was getting answers pretty quick and I've never used a pendulum before. So I was like, I felt like I was telepathically communicating with it. And it was really interesting because it wasn't just telepathically, I was also very vocal. And it just naturally came out of me. Like I just naturally wanted to connect with it and I felt that the energy was there to do so. And so I did. And I did actually create a pretty extreme connection quickly with it. So what I ended up doing was I ended up freaking out a little bit in excitement. And I looked over at the two ladies that had helped Pauline and I while we were in the shop. And I was like, is this like a thing? Does this like happen? Do they just like jump out at you? Like, is this, this was crazy. Like I felt like it found me and I found it and it was just pretty interesting. And they were like, yeah, like it'll take to people sometimes. And it's really neat when it happens. And so I went up to the front and I'm like, well, I got to get it. So I'm like, I've already had an experience with it. I've already asked it questions and I told it how I want it to answer me. And I didn't even know that I had that in me to do that, but I did it. And the lady that was, there was a lady checking out at that time and she was a regular. So she lives in Sedona and she's a regular. And she goes, well, what? Is, that's really pretty. And she's like, what is it? And I said, I think it's amethyst. I, and she's like, yeah, it looks like amethyst. And she's like, um, what's your astrological sign? And I was like, oh, I'm like, I've, I've been in astrology my whole life. So I'm like, oh, you know, I'm an Aquarius. And she's like, Ooh, that's cool. She's like, Amethyst and Aquarius really get along and Amethyst like to speak to people. So I thought that was pretty neat. So now I'm going to show you what I ended up getting and the down Isn't it cute? Her name, I named her. So she's a, she's like a pet, by the way. The feeling of having a pendulum is like having a pet. So basically I named her Lady Amalthea. Uh, my name is Alicia. So my initials are actually ALM. Lady Amalthea is from my fav one of my favorite movies called The Last Unicorn. And it's a movie of a lone unicorn who goes into search for all the unicorns that are missing in the world. And in her search, she becomes a woman at one point in time and they name her Lady Amalthea. So I thought it was kind of cool because the beginning of her name, Lady Amalthea, is ALM and those are my initials, ALM, all. So, I thought that was really neat and I basically totally love 
her and she is totally like my pet and I take her everywhere with me and she has actually been able to locate my keys. So I had left my keys somewhere in the apartment. <laughs> I do that on occasion. Um, I'll just kind of like put them wherever and um, they're never fully lost or anything, but they just get placed in different weird little places. So I decided that it'd be a really good opportunity since I had no idea where they were. Um, to ask my pendulum and see if it could locate them. And she did in fact locate them. So I had asked, uh, are my keys on the floor? And she said, no. And then I said, are my keys on the couch? Cause I thought they were, I was like, they're probably on the couch and no. And then I said, are they on a chair? And she goes, yeah, like, yes, definitely. So then I was like, okay. So I, <laughs> I like, I like went and checked all the chairs and then I checked my bedroom chair, the last one, and I was like, and they were on there. They were on my chair. So I was like, that's really cool. So I've predicted a lot of things since then. I don't do any future casting. Uh, I do a little bit of future casting, but I don't do a lot of it. Just because so many things can change in the future that, I mean, even if you sidestep different, like the whole thing could shift. So. What I do is I use I use my pendulum for my tarot, so I do tarot as well. I have tarot cards. I have two different decks, and basically I use this to gain more clarity on my deck. Um, so I use Rider Weight, and then I use one by Ashina. I met her. She's a local artist who lives in Carefree, and she does geometric tarot cards. So I have a deck of hers. Um, so basically, yeah. I love it. I use it. I don't see anything wrong with using it. I have kind of been on myself for years in regards to being a little concerned about what it would entail for me to fully get involved into metaphysics and my spiritual side. So I have struggled with fully coming out of the broom closet, but uh, I have always been into what I am into. So I'm into spirituality and I've been into it since I was like four or five. No joke. <laughs> like, I have had so many spiritual experiences that it is undeniable. And the great thing about it too is that all of these experiences have allowed me to trust myself. I have been open to so many different unique experiences that I am not only able to trust myself, but I am able to help other people who can help them validate what they have seen or felt or heard. I've had all sorts of cool stuff and I just, I'm able to trust myself so much that I am, a, I, I see where I'm going in life. I understand my path really well and I actually am able to help with other people's paths. So I create visions for myself. I, I see them and I'm able to help encourage others to go on their path of happiness, fulfillment, enjoyment, and happiness. And that's really important. I mean, being happy is so important and being fulfilled and being able to fulfill yourself, to fill your own cups and to know what kind of people and what kind of energy you want to be around and what energy excites you the most. I mean, it's really important to be able to do that for yourself so that you can help others do that as well. And I am all about uh, advocating encouragement of um, happiness, whether that be in spiritual form or, you know, and whatever else. So basically, that's my experience. This is what I'm into. And I am done kind of hiding from it a little bit. I've been kind of on and off with spirituality my whole life. And parts of me have felt like I wasn't in the right state of mind to maybe be into it. Now that I am healed, I've healed myself from my past traumas and my intuition is strong and I trust within myself. I am able to do this and help other people with my gift of being fulfilled and being happy. So because I'm in a good place, I'm able to help others. And I just thoroughly enjoy that. I think that before using tarot, it was, I had used tarot cards when I was like 17 and I wasn't necessarily in the best place then. And I had a lot of healing to do at that time. So those experiences that I had, although my tarots came out accurate then, they weren't, I wasn't doing 
it wasn't benefiting anyone really to do it. Like it wasn't, I, I wasn't ready yet to embrace it fully within myself. And I wasn't in the right state of mind to really understand. I was young and I didn't understand what this all entails is what I'll say. So basically being on and off hasn't been a bad thing for me. It's actually been healthy. It's good for me to see, you know, it's to greet people at all different levels in life. And I've been able to do that through different spiritual practice. But the one that feels at home and grounding and more natural to me has always been more of the paganism, always. Um, I kind of have a saying, I say the pagan life, you, you know, you don't choose the pagan life, the pagan life chooses you. Because I did not come onto this world like I choose pagan. I guess I choose it as much as it cho I chose it as much as it chose me. I guess that's how it works. Because it's the same thing with the pendulum. I chose it, it chose me. It just fit like a glove. It just works. So that's been my experience and I am hoping that um, everybody else you know is fulfilled and are finding their path um, another cool thing that I wanted to share is that a way that you can clear your crystals or your rocks or your gems is with selenite so selenite is nice for clearing I asked my pendulum if it likes getting cleared and it said no <laughs> so we don't put her on the selenite I do put like I have like my dream crystal I have a bunch of crystals and rocks and fossils and crazy stuff. So basically, uh, I'll place my rocks on there to clear my chakra rocks, but I do not place Lady Amalfia on there. So we're gonna have to find a new way of clearing her when that time comes. Right now, she's good. So the other thing that I wanted to express and share is that the energy of a rock or a gem or a crystal is the vibration is it never changes so it doesn't match your vibration you match it so it doesn't matter if i'm in like a bad mood it's not going to affect her in any way other than i'm not going to get accurate readings i'm going to get weird wonky readings whereas if i'm centered grounded enlightened healthy and open i'm going to get more appropriate readings more accurate readings her vibration is never going to change to match mine. I have to match hers to get the accuracy, to get what I need. So um, basically that is how that works. So that's why it's really cool to have different rocks on you. And that's why like crystals and gems, like keeping them in your pocket or keeping them in your purse, you know, keeping whatever you need, finding a rock that fits your, your um, what you need is actually a really cool thing that can really benefit you because they don't change their vibration to match you. You got to change yours to match it. So you will naturally kind of alter. So that's what's cool about having rocks and gems because you could have anxiety one day and keeping that gem or, gem or rock that has that vibration will be beneficial to you. So yeah, lots of cool different stuff. So I would like to get into it more in a different video, but I think Mike's home. <laughs> I think Mike just got home. He probably knows what I'm doing in here, so he's probably like trying to stay away. I'm gonna go make sure that he's here. <laughs> I think I heard somebody gone. So if you have any questions, please comment on the section below or you can message me. I'm going to put this on my Facebook and my YouTube page. So yeah, and I'm going to be on more talking about skincare. Um, the other thing too is the beauty industry is really interesting. So the beauty industry is very spiritual. We have massage therapists, hairstylists, estheticians, acupuncturists, and all of them are, uh, not all of them, um, but a lot of them are very spiritual because we are literally putting our hands on people and we're feeling their energy and we're connecting to them and we're opening ourselves up or shutting ourselves down and we're figuring that out intuitively how to connect and reach people on multiple different levels so the beauty industry is actually a very healing industry or it can be i think it could also be the other way i've been in the medical spa industry and i've seen a lot of damage come from that so i have seen healing and I've seen damage come from it and it's all felt very spiritual to me so it's interesting um, and that's something that I'd like to talk more about as well 
Uh, so, but for now, I'm gonna go because I shared my experience and you know a little bit about me and that makes me happy. And I hope you got something out of it. All right, have a great rest of your evening. Happy full moon. I'm gonna go out there and enjoy it. Bye.